What men need to know universally uh, is that when a woman likes you, and by like I mean she deems you um, appropriate in terms of checking the boxes, she either notices that you have the funds to support her or you have the potential. You're going to school and you're going to graduate and depending on the age and everything, which the second one applies to if you're younger. That's why you see girls in universities being interested in guys that are pre-med or studying law because they calculate, they extrapolate. He's going to graduate and he's going to make money. Uh, they, uh, when they deem you appropriate, uh, after that decision has been made, they turn on the acting. They turn on the act. They, uh, they, uh, they give you those extended, uh, you know, stares in the eyes. Uh, they are um, agreeable. They are sweet to you. They accommodate whatever you want to do. You know, you want to eat Chinese tonight? Okay, Chinese. You want to eat pizza? Okay, pizza. You want to go there? Okay, we go there. You want to do this this weekend? All right. Sex, whenever you want. They are uh, basically in the acting and capturing and locking down the, um, for lack of a better term, the uh, victim uh, mode. And uh, this lulls most men, I'd say, you know, there's no scientific percentage, but this translates into about more than honestly, 95% of men get easily uh, hooked. And because our um, one of our weaknesses is vanity and we uh, let this go to our head, we, we, uh, we like it because we feel that she has chosen us over the rest. And uh, we forget the fact, 95 to 97% of us forget the fact that it's all about what we're bringing to the table and the conditions that we are providing for them and not actually us. Very hard for us to believe and it's something we don't want to believe because it feels good to know that we've been chosen uh, over and above the rest. Now that woman at the same time might be fielding other candidates unbeknownst to you. They're very good at telling you half the story and they're very good at um, what's referred to as spinning plates, meaning they're, they're um, fielding uh, several candidates that they deem uh, have potential and they end up choosing what they feel, what they deem to be the best, the most promising. But you don't know that. You would not know that because uh, she'll do her level best to hide it from you. So um, she's agreeable to you. She gives you all the sex you want. Uh, she's accommodating to you. She laughs at your jokes. She, uh, she gives you those uh, googly eyes and everything. And so you're convinced, you're sold, and, and you're, you're buying uh, all, all of it. Lock, stock, and barrel. And then when... Um, for one reason or another, she deems you no longer uh, appropriate, no longer capable to uh, to carry the weight, no longer capable to take her where she wants to go. That acting comes to an abrupt end. And I mean abrupt. It can be on a dime. And uh, as I've said before, you really are shocked because you were so sold, you, were, you had so convinced yourself that, that she is so much into you that nothing could shake her, nothing could tear her away from you and nothing, no one could take her away from you and that she was yours for uh, as long as you wanted. Then you abruptly realized that wasn't the case at all. And you think, what happened? She changed. What happened? This is the same girl that was like that yesterday and today is like this. Today she's saying it's over, you know, we should see other people, etc., etc. Well, she didn't change. She just stopped acting. She was actually all along what you're witnessing now. What you're seeing now is how she was all along. Now she's turned on that acting and that charm for someone else that she deems appropriate. And this is how women are. This is how they operate. Meaning if you were, uh, if you were the same guy, not having those um, 
conditions, it would not be the same. You know, uh, when women, you have to be able to separate real unconditional love that we get from our mothers than the romantic love, which is a myth. Meaning if she, every time she does something for you, she justifies in her head, well, you know, he's, uh, he's paying for uh, the mortgage, he's paying for the kids, he's paying for my car, so I better uh, do something for him, you know, I better accommodate him, at least every now and again. She has to make that justification in her head before she does anything, uh, you know, good for you. Because it's not coming from a place of unconditional love and, and true, genuine care. It's coming from the place of transactional love. So every time uh, in a romantic situation, I don't care if she's your wife, girlfriend, or, or everything else in between, every time she does something for you, she accommodates you, she, she goes to a, a restaurant she doesn't want to go because you want to go, she goes and watches a movie that you want to watch and she doesn't, uh, she does fill in the blank, A to Z, she makes that quick justification in her head that, hey, you know, uh, he's going to be taking care of me later, or he's, he's paying the mortgage, he's paying the car payments, he's paying the, you know, the college for the kids, he's paying for dinner, you, you fill in the blank. That justification is made in her head before she does uh, anything for you. And once that ends, once that arrangement ends, so will the charm and the googly eyes and the sex on demand and laughing at your jokes and all the other uh, fake acting. And this is just one more way that I'm trying to make you understand that what you think is love, what you think is romantic love and affection is really nothing more than receiving benefits and her way of rewarding you for those benefits. There are no uh, variations or, or, or differences. It's always like this. That's why romantic relationships end. Because you cannot always uh, put out for one reason or another. Sometimes, you know, you can't, for God knows, you get laid off, or you're not in a good mood, something happens, you cannot accommodate her, and, and uh, then all that charm comes to an end and the acting stops and you see the real ugly face. Consider this video as one more way of making you understand the difference between actual love, the kind you get from your mother, unconditional love you get from anyone that truly loves you, and romantic transactional so-called love, which is nothing more than fake acting and affection often reluctantly delivered in exchange for the benefits that she's receiving. Cold, yes. True, yes also. It is what it is. All the best.